Every morning paper gives us a new diagram of the degree of polarization in the United States. The, the, uh, the enormous schism we have now, geographic, political. I don't think we can stand it for that long. I don't see the magnitude of the challenges we have and, and the magnitude of the hope we have that in, in such a divisive culture, uh, we can we can make the progress we need. The design, the redesign needs are too great uh, to, to do it with 50% of the people. We can't do that. We need 100%. And uh, I think maybe one of the big challenges next in this era is to see if we can get beyond it. Are we forever trapped in this divide? Are we forever going to be victims of our own separation? Or is there some way to begin to forge uh, shared vision and values again? How will we renew that sense of being together? I, I don't know, but I know, you know, the, my, my most valued mentor of my life probably was Tom Nolan, who taught me so much and who died over a year ago, but his voice still rings in my mind. And Tom and his colleagues and associates of process improvement wrote, still the best book on improvement that I know, The Improvement Guide, which is a wonderful resource. The Improvement Guide has, a, has an appendix, and the appendix lists about 100 uh, change concepts, ideas that you can use to pivot off improvement, an idea like, in general, use parallel processing, not serial processing. That's an idea. And I once asked Tom what he thought the best idea was in the whole book for change constantly it didn't drop a beat. He said it's cooperate. They say see yourself as in the same system. Uh, I think that's right. It's almost a precondition for improvement and uh, we're covering that concept and mapping it into our shared action in the country to me would be a, a great gift to, to progress. Mm -hmm.